there guys, uh, so in this video we're going to go through uh, the generation of electricity and the energy resources. Um, so there's not a lot really that's difficult to understand about this topic, um, there's just quite a lot of things that you just need to memorise and learn. Uh, so you need to understand how to generate electricity and choosing the best methods, um, and there are a couple of other uh, things that you may want to aim to be able to do by the end of the lesson, uh, but you can pause if you want to read through them. Okay. So, you may well have thought in the past about how uh, electricity gets from a power station, so this is where it's being generated, um, into your house. So it's this path from the power station all the way to your home. Um, and we do that with something called a grid. And the idea of the grid um, is it's the connection of all the different cables and wires and devices that transfer electricity from where it's made to where it's used. Now you may well know that there are loads of different ways that we can generate electricity. We've got solar, we've got wind, um, and we have things like hydroelectric, nuclear, and coal. So all of these things need to feed into a electricity network and then go out to your homes. It's not the case um, that we just have one home being fed by one power station. Actually all the power stations in one area all feed all the houses. Um, there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, many of them you can probably think of quite obviously. Um, for instance with a wind farm what happens if the wind stops? Well if the wind stops the wind farm is no longer generating any electricity. So if this home here was only being powered by that wind farm, and as soon as the wind stops, um, the lights will go out in that house. So instead of doing that, we make a system so that when the wind isn't blowing, power can instead come from a nearby power station, or from a, even a power station that's very, very far away. Now in Malaysia, the company that's responsible for all of that is TNB. You see their logo on lots of things. They're the people that maintain the infrastructure. Um, in the United Kingdom, where obviously CIE writes their exams, we use something called the National Grid. So I want you to watch now a little video that's going to talk about the National Grid in the UK um, and explain some of the things uh, that are unique um, to controlling uh, electricity there. So you're going to watch this as the second video on Edpuzzle uh, if you're in my class. If you're not in my class then I will put a link uh, to this in the comment section. 